Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in our Monster Hunter World Master Rank Monster Showcase, we're going to take a look at the furry moose of a Monster Hunter World. Yes, if you were to get into a snowball fight with this monster, well, this monster's snowballs will send you flying. Yes, this monster is Bonboro, the, well, local plow of Monster Hunter. This monster pretty much plows through everything. It plows up snow, it plows up rocks, it plows up effluvium of some sort, and yeah, it will even plow through trees. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bonboro is one of the newer monsters with Monster Hunter World. It is, well, kind of like a moose. It's got horn, big horns, uh, a lot of fur, so it's very furry, and a large tail that it can use to thwack you with. Uh, if you've ever battled Durambos, or Duramboros from Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, it's similar to that. Uh, so yeah, it's interesting, but it's still a new monster with Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So, uh, let's check out its notes here. Check out the under notes. Uh, no, not the map. You know, I, I press the map button, and now I just look at my map, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have something with that map, I tell you. Now, Banboro is down here. Now, Banboro is a brute wyvern. And honestly, it can appear in pretty much any habitat. That's what it it says here it can be in the ancient forest it can be in the coral highlands elders recess wild spider waste rotten veil and hoarfrost reach so yeah it's a very versatile monster and likes to i guess grief everyone <laughs> in every map area <laughs> i was gonna say map but i mean i guess they kind of are maps so yeah in every map as for physiology you can break the head you can break the legs and you can cut the tail and the head and the legs are its weak points and it looks like the head kind of has two separate uh, weak points the horns are a weak point and the face is a weak point so technically um, you know you do different levels of damage to each one because yeah, the horns are just really sturdy. That's the main thing. It doesn't take, they don't take a lot of damage from weapons in general. Other than, you know, uh, hammers look like they do pretty good damage to it though. Or I should say, uh, blunt weapons. As for elements, fire is okay, so you could take fire. Water doesn't do anything, so yeah, don't take a water weapon. Ice also doesn't do anything so don't take an ice weapon and ice skip thunder but thunder is not the best so maybe you wouldn't want to take a thunder either dragon actually does pretty good so you'd want to take a dragon weapon if you're going to take an element because yeah it seems like it's be pretty good as for ailments poison is okay it could work on it sleep is also okay so that could also work on it too paralysis is also okay as well so yeah Either one of those would be okay. Blast actually does pretty good to it though. So yeah, if you're gonna take an ailment, probably take blast. And stun, you know, if you can stun it, actually does, is pretty effective. So as for the rewards, I do have the master rank rewards unlocked here. So yeah, you can see some of them at least. Okay, now, um, Bonboro, really i mean bonboro can cause a different blight based on the location he's in like in the hoarfrost reach he can cause ice blight in the coral highlands he can cause water blight in the elder's recess he can cause fire blight and in the veil he can cause effluvium so basically i mean Effluvium would require a different skill in a sense to block, but mostly you probably want to just take like resistor to him because that's probably just the easiest. Otherwise, he generally doesn't cause blights too much. It's I think it's mainly his uh, his ground attacks that do that. 
Um, also, since most likely he tends to hang out in the Horfrost Reach most of the time, or at least in this quest, he will be in it. Um, you want to also take hot pots because, yeah, Horfrost Reach is a cold area. Now, um, yeah, uh, no, wrong area. For, like I said, for skills, just probably take take resistor that's what i'm taking because yeah it's just the easiest to to do Un unless you're you know a lower level then just try to take the resistance uh for it based on where where the hunt is taking place okay so it is a master rank optional one star so really early on very pretty much at the beginning of the game uh of the iceborne portion of the game so uh, taking charge so basically to get this one unlocked i think all you really need to be is mr3 it unlocks through the story so yeah it's pretty simple um as for this one up at the top here that one is unlocked in a different way because it's just it give, it's one that rewards canteen ingredients so yeah i can't remember how that unlocks exactly but probably given to you by the chef oh yeah grammy Oster chef yes so yeah she just gives it to you at some point so uh taking charge do that it takes place in the Horfrost Reach as well. There we go. Start that. I usually just start at the southern camp. And of course, as usual, I have Pete with me. Come on, Pete, come back, come away from your box. You don't need to work on your your heal skill. <laughs> now, Durambos, uh, no, Durambos. <laughs> uh, Bonbaro it can actually be, uh, I mean, well, he can be kind of a pain sometimes, but most of the time he isn't too difficult. And of course, it puts me right here, right in front of him. But the good thing with Bonbaro is that he doesn't aggro on you, so he will just... Um, ignore you pretty much unless you attack it. Let's see. This seems like a very big one. I think it is. Yeah, this looks really big. Uh, let's get a hot pot on here. There we go. I might as well use a mega demon drug. Uh, no. Gotta wait before I climb. There we go. Okay, let's follow it. Grab footprints, because you want to sniff those Bombaro footprints. And its Japanese name is Bafubaro. So it's close, I guess. Bafubaro sounds kind of similar to like they're calling it like a buffalo or some of some sort. You never know, it could be something like that. But sniff those footprints, yeah. <laughs> He really likes to run around the Horfrost, though. So you'll see him traveling, that's for sure. So get over here. And maybe I'll wait until he gets up here to attack his tail or anything. Because, yeah, it, it, battling him in enclosed spaces is not g a good idea. Hello, you're just gonna stare at me? Okay, let's just attack the tail. And I can't hit the tail because he's too big. <laughs> and I attacked the popo instead. Well, I mostly got him on the edge of this tail. Yeah, hello. Now let's attack him. Ow! Yeah, that tail. But Bonbaro is a fairly big monster. Nah, I don't want to be in there. Ooh. Yeah, he likes to use his horns a lot. Get him in the foot. There, there's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I think, is what will cause Ice Blade. 
Frankly, I think my resistor kicked in right there. Of course, I missed him because he keeps keeps rolling around. There we go, got that. Yeah, he really he likes to um, slam it in his, his horns into the ground. Surprising, he hasn't broke them off. And he has a hip check. I was trying to dodge that. Okay, I hit his horns, but he hit me. But you need to be careful for him, because he will... Um, when he charges forward, he'll come back. So... Okay, I got him in the face, I think. Let's get him in the face again. Because... Actually, breaking his horns is probably the most difficult thing to do. Because to break his horns, you have to hit him face on. No, I didn't want to do that. And he moves his tail. Turf war. Well, let's see if I can get a hit on his tail. Got a tail swing. I got a leg hit. Let's get this. Make sure I don't get hit. I don't I don't even know if I will in this thing. I got a tail hit there. That's good. How dare you push me away? You pushed me away so that I didn't get this tail. Instead, I hit nothing. This tail is a really, really thick tail. It's got uh, a very sturdy tail that will, will really send you flying and whack you. And this way. And, yep, okay, there we go. Run. There we go, got it. Now, get back here, you. Now, um, one interesting thing, though, is that, um, like I said earlier, he can cause different blights based on the location he's in. Uh, wait, why did I pick up a stone? Well, I guess that's fine. Um, but I think in the Horfrost here, he'll dig up large snowballs, whereas in, uh, like, the Elder's Recess, it'll be, like, ooh. Should have seen that one. Yeah, in the Elder's Recess, it'll be like a lava like rock. There we go. Got that. Let's see if I can predict his head here. And I didn't predict his head because he charged forward. Oh! Yeah, that. Yes, and he will go back and forth three times. And. Oh, looks like he went right into a tree grab. Come on, come on. Thank you, Pete. I needed that. And I need that, Pete, too, Pete. Thank you. Pete, always helping. That roll. Come on. No, don't hip check me. Really, I think this is a, actually a giant one. Ah, there we go. Oh, no. I broke something. I broke his leg. Oh, and I cut the tail on that too. Okay, that's nice. Oh, he got me before I got my attack in. Let's grab those because I like my bottom materials. And I think um, he'll, those times he goes back and forth three times, I think that's when he's enraged. Oh, come on, stop. Oh. Now let's um, get that. There we go.
I missed his horns. Well, I got his horn there at least. And I don't want to accidentally lose. go. Knock him over at least. Try to get these horns. What are you doing here, Beatotus? You're in the way. Uh, of course. Of course, Beatotus comes in just to ruin my, my charge timing. I tell ya. See if I can get that other leg bro. Yeah, enough roaring, guys. Enough roaring. We don't need any more roars. Get this. Get this. He's. Oh, okay. For a second, I was thinking he had a tree. No, instead, he's. Oh, he does have a tree. <laughs> now, that tree has a really wide AoE, so that's something you really need to watch out for. at this because I don't want stones. Ow! But yeah, that is one thing with uh, Lanbaro. He does have a really wide AoE with with those big horns. In his. Okay, what did I break? I feel like I broke his horns. Ah, he kind of fell over. Or maybe I broke his face. It's possible. that. Yeah, I, I might have broke his horns. It's not very much, though. Let's see if I can get this leg. There we go. Let's see. No! Way. Oh no, he's oh he's limping already. Yeah, see, he is one of the easier monsters, honestly. Because yeah, he's already he's already leaving. Mainly because he's so big that um he'll you know he'll he's kind of easy to hit in a sense. It's just kind of somewhat hard to target his parts because he uh, moves around. And because he's so big, like this one, it actually is kind of hard to target his tail. Now, I'd use another hot pot, but I honestly feel like, uh, you know what? I guess I could, because I can get some free ones out here. Where was a, where are the free ones? There's some free ones right here. Yeah, get hot pepper. And that'll give you free hot pots. Basically. Might be a little bit while I battle him anyway. There we go. I'll just leave with the same two that I came here with. Hot pots, I mean. <laughs> oh, I need to sharpen. Better do that. Always good to sharpen. Head over here through the piles of snow. It doesn't look like he's sleeping yet. I'd like to wait until he goes to sleep, but... He's not sleeping here. There we go. You gonna go to sleep, dude? Oh, I'll just do that. Okay, there. He's limping away. I'm just trying to showcase where he sleeps. He's going up there. So I'll trudge through the snow. Grabbing honey while I'm at it. Just because. Okay, is he going to sleep there? Yes, he's going to sleep there. So he sleeps up here. 
in this area. Now, I think I broke the horns. They look broken. So what haven't I broken? Hmm. Well, I can try to break the back. I don't know if I break if you can break the back or not. I don't. I don't think it showed that it was breakable. There we go. Just do this. Yeah, if you've got no more parts to break on him, oh, yeah, he sends you flying. But if you get no more parts to break on him, then he does get a lot easier to attack. Except when he hip chucks you. Yeah, I and I I got him in the crotch there, so yeah, that that would probably hurt quite a bit. Okay. There we go. That's Banbaro, one of the interesting monsters with Iceborne. It actually is fairly unique because there's not too many monsters that, um, well, throw trees around, carry trees around. I don't actually, I don't think there is any in the mainline Monster Hunter games. I don't think there is any more that carry trees around. I mean, but then, you know, I haven't played some other um, Monster Hunter games like. Uh, for you and stuff like that. Although, I do know though, in Monster Hunter Online, there is the Caesar Burr that will carry trees around and attack you with trees. So, that is actually interesting. Some, I would really like to see Caesar Burr again, of course. Uh, yeah, that was a fun monster. Um, I do have some videos on that if you want to take a look at that. Check those out. Put the link in the description. Get this stuff. Okay, let's see how I did. I don't think I did too bad. Bonbaro is one of the easier monsters, though. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Actually, that wasn't even the largest. That's the, like a silver. <laughs> oh, they can get bigger than that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bonbaro is an interesting monster. And very furry for coming with uh, Iceborne. I mean, I guess it's understandable. This whole place is a very wintry area anyway. Okay, so let's check out its equipment. Now, I'm not sure if there's a Bonbaro weapon at all. I, I think there is. I think it's a... Let me just look quick. I'll, I usually look at great swords because I, I main great sword, but... Um, I don't know if there's a Bonbaro one or not here, but I think there is Bonbaro weapons. They're just maybe derived from another weapon. I think it's like uh, a heavy raw weapon, but it might have negated, um, I mean, not negated, but lower affinity. Let's see if there's any, it might be ice related as well. That's, yeah, that's not, let's see if it's down here in some of these areas. That's Beototus. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there isn't one for, for the greatsword, but, uh, yeah, I think there are some. I just don't know which weapons have them. Now, as for armor, it, no, wrong button. It's down here. In the rare nines, so it's actually not a real rare armor, but that's because it's one of the lower ranked monsters too. There we go, Bonbaro Alpha. So we'll take a look at it here, and yeah, you look like um, you, actually it's very Viking looking. That's what it is, with yeah all the fur, the beard, <laughs> the braided beard. That really makes you look like a a Viking. And the entire armor actually looks very Viking themed. Pretty cool. Actually, there's a hammer on your side that looks like the Mjolnir. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Let's check out the beta, because that was the alpha. The beta is, um, well, it's Viking. It's still Viking themed, but it has less to it. Honestly, I like the alpha better because it's more 
Well, I guess more bulky. It looks like it's more armor. Yeah, I guess, kind of, yeah. I mean, didn't have to have the braided beard. It's kind of weird-ish, but it's not that big of a deal. It's on the helmet. Um, as for the colored areas on that, yeah, I kind of prefer the colored areas on the alpha one too. <laughs> anyway, as for the skills and stuff, it's got stuff like resentment, speed eating, offensive guard, and some mushroom answer. Let's check out the full skill list. It looks like there isn't any set skill for it, so that's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, so two in resentment, two in mushroom answer. And, and ignore the focus. Uh, one in speed eating, one in offensive guard, and one in health boost. So it doesn't have a lot of skills to it. Um, probably doesn't have a lot for slots either because yeah it's a lower ranked armor. But uh, yeah that's Bonbaro's armor. Pretty interesting. Looks yeah it looks a little cool uh, because I I am a little partial to Viking themed stuff myself because I guess I like Norse mythology and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this monster showcase. If you like this monster showcase, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that bell icon, leave a comment, and of course share it. And of course, if you're looking for a Discord server to hang out and chat, the Nihilusion Discord server is a fun place to just, yeah, talk about whatever. But, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.